Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more crafty than any beast of the field which Yahweh Elohim had made. And he said to the woman, Indeed, has Elohim said, You shall not eat from any tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, From the fruit of the trees of the garden we may eat. But from the fruit of the tree which is in the middle of the garden, Elohim has said, You shall not eat from it or touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said to the woman, You surely shall not die, for Elohim knows that in the day you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like Elohim, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was desirable to make one wise, she took from its fruit and ate, and she gave also to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked. They sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves loin coverings. And they heard the sound of Yahweh Elohim walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Yahweh Elohim among the trees of the garden. Then Yahweh Elohim called to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of thee in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me from the tree, and I ate. Then Yahweh Elohim said to the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. And Yahweh Elohim said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you more than all cattle, and more than every beast of the field. On your belly shall you go, and dust shall you eat all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise you on the head, and you shall bruise him on the heel. To the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your pain in childbirth. In pain you shall bring forth children, yet your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Then to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten from the tree about which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Both thorns and thistles it shall grow for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread, till you return to the ground, because from it you were taken. For you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Now the man called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all the living. And Yahweh Elohim made garments of skin for Adam and his wife, and clothed them. Then Yahweh Elohim said, Behold, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. And now lest he stretch out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore Yahweh Elohim sent him out from the garden of Eden to cultivate the ground from which he was taken. So he drove the man out, and at the east of the garden of Eden he stationed the cherubim and the flaming sword which turned every direction to guard the way to the tree of life.